Let's loop a video on your iPhone. Now, if you want a video to just loop over and over again so that you can see it, you can upload it to whatever you want, Instagram, TikTok, any social media, or just text it, I'm gonna show you how to do that. The best option is not in the Photos app on your specific iPhone itself. Of course, you can download any kind of video editor on your iPhone, but there are some online tools that will do exactly what we want. So let's just open up a web browser here and I'm gonna go over here and I just typed in loop video. Now this first option adds a watermark to it. So I'm just gonna choose the second option, Kapwing. So we can just go here and it gives me the option to choose a video. I can hit upload here and then from my photo library. So I can just choose one of these short videos and hit choose. Now, the nice thing is this will loop it over and over again, but there is a limitation. It'll loop it up to 10 times. Now, keep in mind, videos have to have a start and end time. They can't just loop them through infinity. So if 10 times is enough, you can choose 10 and then hit that create. It will load this, create this video, and then you can download it as it will loop 10 times in a row. Now, keep in mind, if you do want a video to be basically looped in infinite, infinite t a number of times, what you wanna do is basically convert it to a GIF, which basically plays over and over again an infinite loop. So I just typed in video to GIF, and I can tap on this easy GIF. So once I'm here, all I have to do is hit choose photo from the photo library, and I'll just choose that same video if I can find that video, where is it? There it is, and hit choose. So now that I've done that, I can hit upload this video. And basically what this will do is it'll convert the video into a GIF, which will automatically play over and over and over again. There won't be any kind of limitation in the number of times that it plays. And then once I'm ready, I can hit convert to GIF. And then when I'm done with that, I can go down and basically I can just download this GIF. I can upload it to wherever I want. You can see now it's a GIF. One of the downsides to the conversion is sometimes it does lose quality, lose that kind of um, crisp clearness, and it might make it a little bit more grainy or jumpy if it takes out certain frames in between each one. But you can always, if you go up, you can control the size, the frames per second, the method, all of that different stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.